Well, I'm doing something a little bit different today and we're viewing some buffalo. I'm over here riding around with Daniel from Armstrong Homestead. We've been fishing and Houston's in here and uh, we're gonna feed some buffalo. Uh, is it your brother-in-law? Yep. Yeah, Cross Timbers Bison. Cross Timbers Bison. Cross, cross Timbers Bison. Yeah. This is a YouTube channel and he's just, he's got, I think about, we got 15 buffalo and stuff. So I don't get to see stuff like this every day. I know they're around, but it's pretty cool to come out to a farm and uh, see some stuff like that. So we're just gonna show you around today. That was his first bull. That's Dunbar. Oh yeah, I saw y'all trying to get that one. Yeah. Is that the one that didn't go through? Well, Big Joe was the one that gave us all the problems. Dunbar was the one that the first couple times Dusty worked them here, yeah. he kept getting out. Huh? Look how big those horns are on that one. Well, that's the one that got sick. She's still recovering. She got she uh she got a weird disease that these animals are susceptible to that come from flies. Like it came from a fly bite. And it almost killed her. Like she lost. Wow. I think Dusty said she lost about 400 pounds. <laughs> she was really sick. She's recovering. She's gaining weight. She hasn't sold any for meat yet, but that's the game plan. Gosh. <laughs> so when Dunbar first came here, thing. he was about that size. Their tunnels are just. He's just they take it huge. off his oh. <laughs> saying favorite. It's a little intimidating. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. <laughs> look, look at the size of his nose. Uh. Golly. <laughs> he like turl yeah. curls it around to grab the food. Come on, girls. Oh, man. Bull calves and little bulls because he's wanting to start selling meat and stuff so he he bought some like butcher animals basically but that's big joe the most <laughs> aggravating animal you've ever been around he's just a gentle giant he's just as calm as he can be until you pin him up Those are the ones he just got. Younger bulls. Some that he just bought. Hmm. Yeah, I'll kiss it. Looks like they have a hump. One has cheeks right now, but they're about that big now. Well, we're back on the Arms Family homestead. We already got to see some bison for a while. That's really cool. Houston's going to show us around, show us what animals he's got, and if they have names, I don't know. But we got this is bear, right? This one, I remember, I've seen this in a lot of videos. And if you don't know who Iron Stanley Homestead is, you need to go check out their channel. We just, also. We just made a fishing video. We just did a fishing video. We got done fishing. And um, now we're going to do a little looking around. Because I like animals too. I grew up with goats and dogs and cows and chickens. and So we're going to see what's going on in here. So there's a mama. Am I, I going to get attacked by anything? That's all I want to know. No. Okay. Unless I'm safe. Unless it's a, an alpaca spitting at you. Ooh, as they spit at you? They might sometimes if you're like trying to wrap them or something. But here's a. What we got in here? She's laying. Oh, okay. Sitting on some eggs there? Yeah. How many eggs are in there? Do you know? No, we just know that she's laying right now. Go over there and ask her, Houston. Lift her up and see. Hey, how many eggs do you have under there? Excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to find out. They're taking a census, and don't lie about it. I got both. Ooh. Oh, she's only got five eggs under her right now. There's another one. She's been laying for a while. Oh, another. Another. Whoa! Look at that one. That guy looks weird. That's <laughs> Rufus. That's Rufus. Tina, Dolly, and Lucy. So you got a saddle for that one there? What? That's your, it's just your size right there. Hey, Steve. That's um, Freedom and this is Steve. Freedom and Steve. They've been fighting all morning. 
Oh. You ever seen a, a farm animal that likes to be sprayed with a water hose? <laughs> no. Huh. Alpacas are strange animals. Watch out, Rufus. In the summertime, they just, you can't hardly water the animals because they want to be sprayed. <laughs> I've putting... never owned another farm animal that likes to get wet, but they love to be sprayed down. Where are they from, like, originally? Like, what country? I really couldn't tell yeah. you off the top of my head. I don't know. I have to look it up. If, you put, if you're yeah. putting water in the trough, he'll get his feet in there and just paddle. Like, I wonder if they're, like, what? lay down. That white one? Oh, yeah. You spray her, she'll lay down. <laughs> So yeah. My wife, like they just... last summer, decided it would be a cool idea to get a sprinkler. So in the evenings, we wouldn't do it during the middle part of the day because it's so hot. I was afraid getting their coat wet, you know, that might hold in the, the heat, you know. We haven't sheared them yet. Yeah, it looks like a little thick fur. Yeah, but so we got a sprinkler, and late in the evening, we come out here and turn the sprinkler on, and they just play in it for hours. I'll go get the sprinkler. No, that's all right. Watch she's like a lay down. <laughs> That's the craziest thing. <laughs> it's so weird. Most animals hate water, you know, they don't like to get wet. Not these guys. It like soaks into their fur, it looks like it's yeah. like so thick. You should see them when we shear them. We'll probably do it in the next few weeks, but they're just, they, they become about a third of their normal size. <laughs> it's so small. Slim down. Oh yeah. Here we go. It's like is that Where's the black one? Where's the black where's the black baby chick? It's been gone for several days. Something got it. Hmm. He's like, what are you doing? I thought y'all were giving us water. <laughs> That's what you gotta do a, a fishing video on. That's what you need to load a bunch of them up and go fishing. Fishing with caterpillars. I ain't touching I can just break this limb off right here. Oh. Uh, look at this look at this this one limb and they're all on the edge of it. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? <laughs> Slippery. Well, me and Houston have had some fun doing some fishing, seeing some animals, but it wouldn't be right on a hot day. If we didn't go if, if we didn't at least jump in the water. So he talked me into jumping in and uh, I like swimming in water, although it may be a little cold. Might I'm, be a little bit cold. Where are we jumping in first at? Starting here? Yeah, it'll be easy. All right, we're gonna try. You wanna do it first? You wanna go ahead? Not yet. Well, I 
am back in Tennessee now, and uh, thanks for watching. And this this was a little bit of a weird video, I know. I wanted to just go ahead and make it. It was I had such a great time just hanging out with uh, Daniel and Houston and uh, on the the Arms family. And if you don't know who they are, of course I'll, I'll leave information in below. But it's it's someone I've been watching since I started my channel. I've been watching them, watching their channel grow from less than three thousand when I started following them to over five hundred thousand subscribers now. And I just appreciated them, he, he, the way he makes his videos. And um, it's just clean, uh, good Christian testimony. And uh, some, you know, it's something I'm, I'm looking at, like, all right, I want to kind of keep growing. And, I, you know, I'm watching other people how to do that. And that's, that's one of the first people I kind of, you know, started watching. And I've been following ever since. So it was really, it was really cool to be able to meet them and, and hang out with them. And I got to go over and see uh, Dusty and the Cross Timbers Bison. And that was really cool. I just started watching their stuff. And uh, they, they, you know, does a lot with the bison and the buffalo. And uh, so it's pretty cool videos has got there. So I'll leave all the information for all that stuff below. I just had a great time traveling through Oklahoma and uh, getting to meet up and fish. Fish with Daniel and Houston was definitely the highlight of the trip. I mean, I did get to see my other family out there too. That was okay. But no, I just had a great time doing that. I probably got a couple more videos coming from the Oklahoma and Arkansas trip. So continue to watch. Hopefully you're going to be able to watch those. And uh, just thank you for all the support. And I appreciate everyone that's watching these videos and uh, giving them a like and subscribing to my channel. I've been growing and getting a, I got a little growth going on here recently. Kind of got a little jump. So things are starting to, or things have been going good and they're just starting to get even better. Thanks for watching.